Liberty, it is your turn to hop in the cubicle confessional. I, I have to tell you, Bobby, friends of the Tri-State, <laughs> um, I'm basically confessing to a crime. Oh, my. So I'm hoping, like, the statute of limitations <laughs> is, like, passed. <laughs> okay. Maybe I shouldn't even say the year because, you know, I could just say, oh, it was, like, 50,000 years ago. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see this happened. So, you know, we're celebrating our 911 dispatchers this week. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to do that. I did that full time for three years. Most stressful job in the world, right? Uh-huh. But every once in a while, there's downtime. <laughs> <laughs> and really, this is a public service because, okay, I may... <clears throat> I did. I'm <laughs> confessing it. I didn't may or may not. I did it. I ran the driver's license of a celebrity. <laughs> All I had to have was his first name, <coughs> middle initial, last name, and his date of birth. Okay. I found where this country singer lives. I can find it for you right now on Google Maps and show you. Uh-huh. Um, I know his driving record. Technically, I mean, if he'd been pulled over, it wasn't against the law. <clears throat> I didn't do like a background check. That would have been against the law. This probably was too. But anyway. Okay. The, my point is, <laughs> <clears throat> aside from confessing that, that I did that at uh -huh. work. Yeah. On a government. Anyway. Um, <gasps> Hold on. Did you uh, did you or did you not abuse your power and your position by running this? That's that's the question. I mean, you're not you're not supposed. You're to. You're not supposed to. So yes, you did abuse your power. For personal reasons. Right. Well, I mean, it was, you know, third shift. I was trying to stay awake. Oh, sure. To serve the public. Sure. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to um, see if anything comes up. Because some people don't come up by their date of birth, but a lot of people do. Uh-huh. Um, so really, this is a public service. You know, all of our friends are sharing <clears throat> their, their COVID vaccines and their birthday. Oh, I see. So what you're middle initials. Gotcha. So what you're saying is don't share that information because there could be a rogue dispatcher. <laughs> or maybe you know a crazy dispatcher. <laughs> Where, you know, you got to be a lot crazy actually to do that job. So, um, you know, I can't say that anyone else has ever done that. But I confess that I did do that. If you would like to know where Gary Adam lives, you can. Well, I was going to ask. What The, the follow-up <laughs> question is, did you do anything with that information besides just... Stalk him virtu virtually. I I mean, I had it. I giggled a bit. I like told a couple of people that were like close confidants uh -huh. because obviously I didn't want to lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> um, but would it have been worth it? Probably. Because I do still have that address wow. that I can look up. Do you think he still lives there? Oh, he does. Yeah. Oh. Well, he shared pictures of his backyard and I matched it on Google. It's a whole thing. It's a whole So if you ever need like a private investigator... <laughs> I can also do that, too. Yes, you can. That's my confession. <laughs> stop sharing your birthday and your middle initials, your middle names on Facebook. Or Liberty will stalk you. Exactly. <clears throat> I like it. See, it's important to know the real celebrity's name, too, because it's one of my <clears throat> fake names all the time. Oh, sure. Gary Allen is not his name. Fun fact. Allen is his middle name. Ah. Hertzberg is his last name. Well, that's a... Fun fact, you didn't if, need if, to know. If ever there was a good name to change, it's that. <laughs> Gary Hertzberg versus Gary Allen.